Hey, Abiding Presence, I'm here at the font today because I want to talk to you about baptism. It's Easter, and the focus is on baptism during the season of Easter. We've been preparing for this moment all throughout Lent. We're no longer doing the confession for forgiveness. We're now doing Thanksgiving for baptism as a part of our liturgy. I have this great story about this young man that I baptized uh, a while back here at Abiding Presence. We did the whole service. And at the end of the service, he came up and he wanted to, to take a look at the water and touch the water himself. And so I said, sure. And so I invited the little man to come up and he stood up on a stool and he reached over inside and he practically put his whole body inside of the font to try to touch the water. And he did. And then he looked at me and he says, come here. And so I got all the way down with him. And both of our heads are inside the font. And he touches the water and he places a cross on top of my forehead. And he just says, child of God. Oh, it brings me such delight to think about that little guy when he did that. And he still comes around and he still puts his hand in this font and he remembers his baptism. That's what we need to do too. We need to remember our baptism today. We make some promises at our baptism. When we're infants, we can't make those promises. So our sponsors make those promises. Our parents make those promises. Some people have godparents that make those promises. And about all of those promises, we say that we are going to live among God's faithful people. That we're going to come to the Word of God and share in the Lord's Supper. That we're going to teach the Lord's Prayer, the Creed, and the Ten Commandments to them. And we're going to place in their hands the Holy Scriptures. So we're going to bring our young ones to church. And right now that's a little different. Now we're bringing our young ones to church online. We're going to place in their hands the Holy Scripture. Right now we're actually seeing it spoken to us or reading it on a Facebook page or on a YouTube channel. We also tell them that we're going to nurture them in faith and prayer so that they may learn to trust God. This is super important to take those young people and nurture them in, in, in faith and in prayer so they can learn to trust God who claims us and names us in the waters of baptism. And then we say that we are going to proclaim Christ in word and deed. We're going to care for others and the world that God made, and we're going to work for justice and peace. All of these things mean to me that I am going to share Christ in everything that I say, in everything that I do, and even within my thoughts, I'm going to share Christ with the entire world. These baptismal promises give us a wonderful blueprint for life, to be a part of a community of faith, to share our faith together, to go out into the world, to share that faith with other people and all that we say and do, and to recognize that I am a beloved child of God, that I have been sealed and marked by the cross. The Holy Spirit is a part of me. The Holy Spirit is a part of you. This is Easter. It's time for us to proclaim that we have been named, we have been claimed in the waters of baptism, and I invite you to do so today. Maybe you can take some time today to take some water and to place it on your forehead and to remember that you are a beloved child of God. We'll see you soon.